Hello everybody, my name is Scott Narker. We are Projectors 3 and this is the Project Time Management for the Human Powered Vehicle Club. I'm Brandon, I'm going to talk about defining activities. The pin box states that you got to identify all activities, create activity list, decomposition, and create a work breakdown schedule. What actually happened were the activities were defined, but they did not create a work breakdown schedule. Hi, my name is Shelby, and I'm going to talk about the sequencing activities. The pin box states identify and document relationships among project activities, critical path, and PDM, find mandatory dependencies, and apply leads and lags. Our client uh, documented their activities, had relationships between each activity that were established, and finished to start method was their PDM. They had a huge void between the pin box and the actual, so our recommendations is that they follow more what the pin box states and record their time. Hi, my name is Kalen, and I'm here to talk about estimate activity resources. The pin box states that you need to estimate the type and quantities of material, people, equipment, or supplies required to perform each activity. Also, develop and use resource calendars and alternative analysis and bottom-up estimating. Uh, what actually happened were that resources were not estimated and resources were assigned throughout the project. Hi, I'm Casey. I'm going to talk about estimate activity durations. According to the PINBOC, approximate number of work periods needed to complete individual tasks and use project management software to develop time schedule and three-point estimation used to consider uncertainty and risk of each activity, which is the PERC analysis. What actually happened were the activity durations were not estimated and the durations were based on a when can you get this done approach. I'm Ian McGuire, and this is what the Human Power Vehicle Club did to develop schedule. The PIM box says to use a scheduling tool, such as Microsoft Project, to develop the schedule. They say to develop what if scenarios to calculate risk. The HPV Club actually, they did develop a schedule using a Microsoft Project, um, but they did not follow it and follow um, the deliverables. We would recommend um, actually monitoring the milestone and due dates in the future. Hello everybody, my name is Bobby. I'm going to talk about controlling the schedule. Uh, the pin box states you must refer to the project management plan which contains scheduled management plan and baseline. Use performance reviews to compare baseline to actual completion dates. Use a variance analysis which will allow to assess the magnitude of variation between actual and baseline. Uh, what the HPV Club actually did, um, they did not use an MS project uh, to use a variance or variance analysis to determine variations from the schedule. So therefore, um, a lot of their uh, due dates were missed and off, and we suggest that they try to stick to a project management plan. Uh, thank you. We are Projectors 3, and this is our video on time management.